Good afternoon, it's Bev at Planet Crochet. This afternoon, I'll be showing you how to do the treble crochet. This is UK terminology. My last video was the half treble. You can see there's a big difference. Right, so as I have said before, this yarn, Stylecraft, this is not sponsored. I just love to use their yarn. It's double knit and it calls for a four millimeter hook. I like to use half a hook size to do my chains. That's how I like to do a slip knot. So it makes the chains a little bit looser in uniform than if a pattern will say use whatever hook size and make your chains loose. So they're not tight. What I found I was uneven, as I said before. So I like to use a half a hook size up, do your chain foundation, and then switch to what the pattern says. I mean, I can use a four and a half using this ball of yarn. It would make things a little, a little bit holier and bigger. But the yarn, the the um, Band on here to say four, and that's what I usually use. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Go there. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So I'm only then I'll switch. I'm only going to use a sampler today because I haven't got anything to show you because I would have showed you on a project so i'll do a sample so there's 23 chains i've switched my hook, hook back now 20 will be like this and the extra three is classed as the first treble so as i said you don't count this loop on the hook so you've got you want to miss three one two three and go in the fourth chain so it's similar to the half treble yarn over go into the chain yarn over and pull up so you've got three loops now if you remember the half treble is yarn over and pull through all three for a treble it's yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two so the Chain three is one treble, so that's number two. Yarn over, try not to remember not to go in this bit of a gap. Go in the next one. So your foundation chain is always fiddly. Stop, stop, yarn over, go into your stitch, three loops, yarn over. Stop, yarn over, finish. So you've got one, two, three, four. I'll do it one more time. Yarn over, into your chain, yarn over, three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So I'll go on to the end of camera and then I'll show you how to go back the other way. So I'm on my last stitch, yarn over, three loops, pull through two, pull through two. So to turn, you can either turn your work, chain up, or I like to do my chains first, then turn. Just a personal preference. Now if you look at the back, it looks totally different, whoops a daisy, to the front. I know these are slightly different colours, but so there's the back, the wrong side if you like. This is the front side, the right side. So there's your two loops. And when you put your hook in one of these little holes, turn it on the top. Oops. There's your two loops. Looks like a V. So you don't want to be going just through one, you need to 
you would make sure there's two on. You generally do, but now and again you can um, accidentally just put through one. So it's same again. So you chain three, we miss this stitch because that's your first one. Number three chain is your first treble. Going to the next stitch, three loops, yarn over, go through two, go through two, yarn over, into your stitch, yarn over, go through two, go through two, yarn over, into your stitch, yarn over, go through, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two. I'll do again off camera and I'll be back. So I've gone almost to the end. Now what I should have said is, check that out, when I'd started, I recommend, I do a different colour to the colour of yarn, just just how I do so it stands out. The three chain, there's your first treble, the three chain counts as a treble but looks different. So to remember where it is and where to put your hook, is put a marker in it. So when we turn back around, so we've done this chain three, gone all the way back, and it's easy to remember and miss this. So when you went, when you go back again, if you want, different colour so you see it so it stands out really well so there's your three chain so there's your treble this is the first treble but that that's what it, the treble looks like this is your turning chain put the clip in the top chain of the three so then when you go back you don't forget it's a good practice to have even I do it now so I don't forget hook back on so we've got one treble left so put this, make sure you've got through both loops and the ends are always a little bit fiddly or messy looking so that's why I like put a clip in because otherwise if you forgot this chain three stitch so that would so if that clip's not there but it just looks right and then you go back, your count will be out by one, but you might be okay, you might remember that side. So when you go back and you don't, you can do row after row after row, and then you count, and that's where you've gone wrong, right at the beginning. You can correct that. But I personally, I don't know about other crocheters, but I personally, I have to frog it out, which means you have to take it all back, pull it out, pull it out, pull it out, to get to the mistake. Um, and then redo. So say if you're doing that, I suggest you put a clip in your top chain of your turning chains. So it's the same treble. So I'm going to take the clip out because I can't put the hook in at the same space. So there's a top one. So that looks different again at the back to the front. And it takes practice. Now, some crochets might go into that. This is the top chain, and it and it's a bit. I'll show you what I mean. So there's your last treble. It's just on this loop here, but I like to go behind that one there. There's my needle. Instead of putting the like I have the stitch just in that one there. I like to hook it onto there, so I'm going to redo it. So yarn over. So like I said, I like to push that one. It's just for the edge to keep it nice and straight, and it's not stretchy when you're putting a border on. Yarn over, yarn over. So it doesn't look right at the moment. 
three, it does as the project goes on. So you three, chain, two, three. Now a big tip to put your hook in again, hook, different colour, is you've got your three chains, not the one on the hook, one, two, three. Put your stitch marker before you go. Turn your work. So you can do that either way. So you can turn, chain three, put your marker in. So again, yarn over. You don't go into this first stitch from the previous row because the three chain counts as a stitch. Yarn over. Whoops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over. Pull through two, yarn over in your stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And so on. So it looks a bit holy at the ends. Bulgy, but as your project goes on, it does even out. And I, it's up to you, you can still do it if you want in the same size hook, but I do recommend doing a half size and it just stops because it stops it pulling it round and buckling, it's not as tight. But if you can learn to do loose chain, the foundation chain. With your hook size the pattern calls for that that's okay but i couldn't i couldn't get to grips with it so i always use half size height um bigger four and a half or whatever the pattern is go half size bigger so i'm at the end of the third row so again top of the chain three it's easier if you take it out it's just there to remind you not to forget the chain three. Yarn over, top chain, three chain, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So it looks a bit gappy. And that's why I've said in my previous videos, apart from the single crochet, Double crochet in the UK, sorry. Um, I like to chain two and it stops. I know I'm pulling it, but it does seem to stick out. At the beginning, on your foundation, you, you will need the three. But I personally drop a chain for every subsequent um, row. For your turning chain, I always drop a chain because you'll still get a straight row no matter if you put three or two in but i found i don't like this so i dropped a chain so i'd put two in and just make them slightly loose don't make them tight you don't want them tight anyway because otherwise you you're going to struggle and you might have heard the squeak my hands are warm anyway but you might find it tight to get in the top so it's up to you if you do one two three turn carry on or as i do i drop one make them a little looser turn it's still remembering don't go in that one there unless the pattern calls for this but it generally doesn't um yarn over and go into the next stitch so you can see the difference there's the three chain there's a two. So either way, if you want to remember to put your hook in your turning chain, so then when you, oops, sorry about that. So when you go back, when you come back again, you're not going to miss this, especially if you do two. Just play around with your sample before you do something, before you do a project and see what you think. You can let me know in the comments if you like. If you prefer doing the three chain or the two chain. 
either way it doesn't matter just remembering not to miss it on when you're turning round so that's it today for the treble crochet I hope you found this video informative and helpful and I will see you on another video so from me a monkey at Planet Crochet bye for now <laughs>